Hi there guys, it's Adam Martin here, and welcome back to another installment of The Now Review. And we have another extra release in the yearbook series, and by god, if you thought they weren't milking this yearbook concept, we're really milking it now. For I have for you today the latest three disc album, Now Yearbook Extra 1980 to 1984, The Final Chapter. That's right, when we had the final chapter not too long ago, I think we were all a bit like, okay, this is pushing it, but now we're getting an uh, addendum to the final chapter with even more hits between 1980 and 1984. And would you believe, if you go on Now's website, they actually have, a, have an excuse for this. It actually says, we would have respected the word final, but these years were so rich for pop gems, these tracks had to be included in our celebration of the era, which basically means mo money. But anyway, you know, we're all now fans here, so we're going to pick this up anyway, aren't we? Or a lot of us are. As you can see from the front cover, it's pretty much the same as the original final chapter release. It still says the final chapter at the top. It should say the final, final chapter if you want to be funny about it. At the bottom, it says 63 more essential hits from 1980 to 84. And of course, since this is an extra release on the side there, as you can see, there is the extra bar there emblazoned in gold and white. But now let's flip it on over and take a look at that all important track list. So, CD1, we're kicking off with Queen, and I want to break three. I'm sir, you know, I keep thinking that Queen tracks have been on other yearbooks, but apparently this one hasn't, so take the word for it. We have The Police with Spirits in the Material World, Eurythmics with Right By Your Side, The Smiths with This Charming Man, Dexy's Midnight Runners with The Celtic Soul Brothers, more please, thank you, Madness with Tomorrow's Just Another Day, Tracy Ullman with My Guy, The Specials and Do Nothing, UB40 with My Way of Thinking, David Sylvian with Pulling Punches, Tom Robinson with Atmospherics, Listen to the Radio. Elton John with Cold as Christmas in the middle of the year. That's actually a really underrated Elton tune if you ask me, so big recommend to that. Elvis Costello and the Attractions with I Wanna Be So Loved. You have Squeeze with Another Nail in My Heart. Pretenders with Middle of the Road. Journey with Don't Stop Believing. I'm amazed Journey hasn't appeared on a, on a yearbook thus far, you know, with how big that song is, but there you go. Slade with Run Run Away. Robert Palmer with Some Guys Have All the Look. Hall and Oates with Out of Touch. Again, amazed that hasn't appeared on a yearbook so far, but it's it's here now. The world's famous Supreme Team with Hey DJ, Debbie Harry and Backfired, and Waitresses with Christmas Wrapping, a great Christmas tune. So that's 22 tracks there on CD1. CD2 kicks off with Gary Newman and Music for Chameleons, Midyear and Mick Calm with After a Fashion, The Human League with Boys and Girls, Japan with European Sun, Heaven 17 with Penthouse and Pavement, Thomas Dolby and Wind Power, really like Thomas Dolby, really underrated artist there. A Flock of Seagulls with The More You Live, The More You Love. Soft Cell with Numbers. Suey and the Banshees with Melt. The Undertones and Wednesday Week. XTC and Sergeant Rock. Adam and the Ants with Car Trouble. Toya with Good Morning Universe. The Associates with Love Hangover. Marilyn with Cry and Be Free. Kajagoogoo with Big Apple, which I believe was on the very, very first Now album all the way back in 1983. Nick Kershaw with Dancing Girls. Howard Jones with Pearl in the Shell, Level 42 with Hot Water, Shack Attack with Easier Said Than Done, and we finish with Working Week and Venceremos, if I'm saying that right, probably I'm not, but anyway, that's another 21 tracks there, so 43 so far, and CD3 kicks off with Dave Stewart and Barbara Gaskin and It's My Party, Kim Wilde with Cambodia, Ultravox and Love's Great Adventure, Spandau Ballet with Highly Strung, Nick Haywood and On a Sunday, Thompson Twins with Sister of Mercy, Tina Turner with her version of Help, which is actually a really great version of that Beatles classic if you've not heard it, so big recommend to that. Lionel Richie with Penny Lover, wonderful track from his Can't Slow Down album. The Pointer Sisters with I Need You. Shalimar with Over and Over. Windjammer with Tossing and Turning. Cool and the Gang with When You Say You Love Somebody in the Heart. Hot Chocolate with Girl Crazy. Cliff Richard with Dreamin'. Liquid Gold and Substitute. Books Fizz with If You Can't Stand the Heat. The Nolans with Don't Make Waves. Bell and the Devotions with Love Games, which I believe was the Eurovision uh, Song Contest entry for, I think it was 1984, if memory serves me well. Julio Iglesias with Guillermo Mucho, yours. Again, I think I'm saying that incorrectly, probably. And we close off with David Essex and another Christmas song. This time it's A Winter's Tale. So that's 20 tracks on CD3, making for our 63 tracks in total. And as I said, I'll go through the track list in a moment, just give my thoughts, but let's open this up. As mentioned, this is a three disc release since this is part of the extra series. And you can see that the discs here are going for the same sort of thing as the original final chapter, you know, with that sort of, I say gold, it's sort of, I always said, I think I said in the original review, it's sort of like a faded gold. It's a weird, it's a weird color combination, but there you go. Those are your discs. So about this track list then. 
obviously there are some odd songs that I'm, you know, I think a lot of people will be very familiar with from the off, you know, Out of Touch, uh, I Want to Break Free, Don't Stop Believing. But because now we're really pushing, you know, this is already the extra release, but this is the final chapter of, I think we're really scraping for big hits that people will know off the cuff. I'm sure like, you know, if you're around at the time, if you're really into pop music, then yeah, you'll know a lot of these. But for people like myself who weren't there, there's not as many songs that I recognize, but I've always said that's never a problem. I always like diving headfirst into albums where I've not heard the majority of the tracks. Some of these, for all I know, might have been singles that maybe didn't climb so high within the top 40. Maybe they didn't chart at all. Maybe they were album tracks. There's a whole wealth of possibilities there. But a lot of the artists I do recognize. And yeah, between 1980 84, that was sort of a pop revolution. I won't lie, I mean, of the 80s, my favorite part of it is sort of from 1985 onwards, going towards the end of the decade when it comes to pop music, but 80 to 84 did have a lot of that revolutionary ground as well, so I do think there is merit to this. I mean, if you are interested in getting this, you can get it in all the usual places. I believe it retails for £8.99, being as it's an extra release. You can get it from HMV, Amazon, some of your supermarkets. If you're near an Asda or Morrison's, they might do it for you as well, but definitely don't pay any more than £10 for it, although these extra releases do seem to sell pretty well and go pretty quick, so I'd say, like with many now albums, you know, if you want it, best to get it as soon as as you possibly can. Is it the best in the extra series? Mm, I mean, it's all up for debate. I guess you are covering uh, five different years here as opposed to just one, although some would argue a, like a concentrated release on one year is a better way to go. But again, that's all subjective opinion. So you'll have to let me know what you think about that in the comments, but I've picked this up. It's going to stay in my collection. I'd be curious to know if it's going to stay in yours. But that's all for this installment of the Now Review. Thank you very much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like on the video. It really does help us out. And again, let me know in the comments if you'll be picking up this release or if you're going to be passing on it entirely with its very long title. Also, subscribe to AMTV Now if you're brand new. We'd love to have you aboard here with us for all sorts of Now content coming in the future. I've been Adam Martin from AMTV Now. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time.